Turbo Thunder Gaming. Hello, all commanders. Uh, the first tip is how you can select multiple towers to attack something. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, pro gamers like select them individually like this, which is a hassle. Uh, there's a better way to do that. You can simply double click the turret, and then you can shoot it. Now, keep in mind, this only works if all of the turrets can shoot that one target. For example, I can't shoot any of these. Like now, everything should. Well, almost. But yeah, I can't shoot these ones. However, this one actually can reach. So what I figured out is if you hold shift and double click, then for some reason you can actually shoot everything. So if you want to kill this one, but you don't know which turrets can shoot it, then you need to shift the one you know can shoot it. And now you can shoot. Okay, the other guy also shoots. If you do this, then you can't do that. Because it's only following this turret. Like you can see, I can only attack these ones. So if I want to kill this fast, I need to shift this, and now all of this sort. Yeah. You see enemy troopers approaching, then this is a good way to do it. Instead of this. Which is a fucking pain to watch pro gamers do. Like, yes, yeah, do this. What are you doing? Now, my other tip is how you can actually use uh, artillery to shoot twice, like fast. Uh, sometimes when you move them closer and they do the double shot. Uh, I cannot uh, figure out how to reproduce that. Like for example, if you just shoot someone that's in range like this, it will take a really long time to shoot that rocket. Now, if you move one tile, it will, for some reason, uh, reload instantly. Get screwed. I even dodged the actual initial shot. So yeah, that's a little cool little freaky kind of. It even the trick even works when you just turn around. That's kind of funny. Oh, and yes, you can capture elements. Okay, this is a fun little thing. Uh, I don't think you will ever witness this in any ladder game or any custom game for that matter, or any campaign either. Uh, you can actually capture the unit when it's repairing. And it will just continue to repair. So you get the unit plus the repair station. So let's start with the basics, the mammoth tank. 
it has rockets that it can also shoot but the primary weapon is the turrets so whenever possible it will always choose the turrets now the rockets have slightly more range and they also hover in the targets now if i want to shoot this it will shoot the rockets first and then start shooting with the uh, turrets uh, air units it will automatically shoot the rockets but the turrets can't shoot air the rockets are a lot more effective versus infantry uh, than the tank turrets are so you need to kind of exploit this yourself uh, I noticed that one nice thing is to face the mammoth away and then you can shoot, then press S, and then it will kind of always shoot the rockets. You, you also, it has a reload, uh, so you need to reload, count, reload. So yeah, so the mama tanks are good, but you actually need some micro if you are facing infantry. Yes, like if you do this, it will only shoot yes, the turrets. Yes, now when you understand the logic behind this, I guess you have a much easier time using the rockets. So it's not just uh, versus infantry. Uh, the rockets are good versus light units too. So you can also do this micro for light units. Did you know that Cam Warriors? Uh, have the same uh, warhead as Grenadiers and well, all the missile types so it can actually destroy walls once again not a big feature but it does it well rocket has actually miss a lot so it takes longer that was over five shots but it all, all, only takes three sets with the grenade, with the camera. So the camera warrior is actually the best one at killing walls. The flamers are the only units here that can't shoot shit. And uh, New Gods uh, made a documentation that the flamethrower takes more damage of everything, actually. Uh, I think it was plus 5 damage from everyone. It has more health than the Grenadier, but it will die faster when walking on tip. You would think a remaster could actually fix this bug or whatever you call it, uh, but no, it's a feature. So even if the flamethrower has more health, uh, statistically, uh, it actually dies faster. So be aware, be aware of the flamethrowers, they want to die. These also do damage. These also do damage. Don't place infantry on them. 